today we're gonna to be working on the skyline, which is right over there. I've gotta move it out of the way to where we can actually work on it, but I've got a few car parts in and I wanna install them. It's mainly just brakes. I've got front and rear rotors that are drilled and slotted, I believe, so we'll take a look at that here in a little bit. But first, let me show you how they arrived on my front porch, thanks to UPS. So this is how we just dropping off packages these days. I mean, at least it's here. I think it's just completely insane that they thought it'd be okay to just leave a completely destroyed box on the front porch and the parts next to it. I mean, I'm not complaining really because I did get my parts, which is nice, but I mean, still, that I feel like that is very inappropriate. And I don't know, I just, what's going on UPS? Fix your system. I also thought about installing the coilover today, but I haven't finished the fronts. So what I might do is just display that in the wheel well right next to the factory one, just to see what the color looks like and the contrast, because I also have caliper paint, which I need to go get, it's inside. And as you can tell, I'm a big fan of the color pink, and that's also a theme that I have for the skyline. So we will be, in fact, painting the calipers pink. I just have to pretty much clean the caliper itself, scuff it a little bit, try to keep the Nissan logo silver, which right there, I wanna to try to keep that silver, but everything else is gonna go pink which is gonna look really good on my bronze set of wheels that I might also pull out in today's video. So, yeah. I guess that's enough talking. I've gotta move the car to a better placement, so that's what I'm gonna do now. like we're gonna have a little bit of help today. That's my brother, so yeah. Uh, those are the fronts. That's a front, I think that's a rear, yeah. So we're gonna test fit these again, mainly because I wanna see the color of the caliper next to that color. Oh God, I need to clean my garage again. It's not that bad, but kinda. <laughs> Got holes in your brake rotor. Find screws the same thread pitch. It makes it much easier to come off. First rotor off. It's all crusty and disgusting. Uh, but yes, make sure your e-brake is disengaged. Otherwise, you can't take this off. I forgot about that. So yeah. Now I can open up the box and show you what they look like. I believe they'll fit. They're for a 300ZX or Z32. That's what everybody recommended to get. So, I'm hoping it fit. That's what they look like. Brake clean me, please, sir. Now for extra hobboy look, you can install them in reverse. I'm kidding, don't do that. Now that we have the rotor pretty much installed, that, that's literally it, there's not much to do. I wanna go ahead and test paint the caliper. So I found this on the internet, uh, sponsored I'm pretty sure, but it was like G2 or something. Uh, sponsored ad on Facebook is where I saw it. And I was like, kinda wanna give it a shot. Looked at the reviews, seemed okay. The pink is a little off in my opinion. It's not the bright, vibrant pink that I want but I looked at the pictures and it showed whenever it actually dries and cures, it's like a hot pink color. So I'm hoping that's true. They also sell this little spray can device. Have no clue how it works or if it's going to work well, but the original kit is made to just to kind of dab on and brush on. So we'll try that on this one to see how it cures. And if it looks terrible, we'll try the uh, spray paint method. There we go. Now it's fitting. Get this bottom side. Ow. Oh. 
After sanding the caliper and getting it prepped, we've come to the realization that we need to install the pads because the dry time for the paint is roughly two hours, which means that we'd be sitting here sideways in my driveway for probably up to four hours, honestly. And then I would be able to put the wheels on and move it and blah, blah, blah. So to help prevent that, I am just gonna use the brush on all of these instead of using the little spray can thing. I'll try this on something else, I guess. But I think we're just gonna use the brush method just to make it work. Trying to make this as easy as possible, but it's still kind of complicated just because we've never painted calipers before and I just wanna make sure they look good. Uh, we don't have to redo this in the future. So again, just put the pads on and then we'll probably mask a little bit up, but not too much, and uh, go from there. All right, I don't know where we left off, but you know, we've got Keegan himself. I'm taping things up, slowly but surely. About to begin the same process we just did on the other side. Get a little clean going, a little scuffing up, removing dirt, debris, grease, that whole fun stuff. taped up, cleaned up. I need to get some chapstick and put over the Nissan logo because that'll actually help when I go to peel the paint off. It'll keep that nice and silver. If I don't have any chapstick, I can also get a sanding block and just scuff it smooth and that'll be fine. I don't know which way I'm gonna go about it. I just have to see if I have chapstick first. Also, that's the color pink that I'm going with. Should look good. Does it say to brush it on or like dab it on? I think it's a brush. This is what the first coat is looking like. It's still pretty tacky. I'm just gonna let it dry and do its thing and then I'll go back over it with the second coat. But I don't think it's looking too bad. It's a little closer to Pepto-Bismol color, I think. But hopefully whenever it dries all the way, it'll be a better color. I don't know. I think once the wheels are on there too, it'll look really, really good. A few moments later. We didn't really think this through because there's not a good spot to jack up the front. So we've got to drop the rear. Thankfully, those wheels are wide enough to where it's not gonna touch anything, and we're literally just gonna be putting it on the ground and then jacking it right back up so I can do the second layer and so we can do everything for the front. But this is kind of what it's looking like so far. I wish the blue wasn't there so you could actually see it, yeah, move that. but I think that's a good look. kind of at the halfway point so I want to go ahead and give you a little update mainly because this battery is about to die and my GoPro and my other camera are dead so charging those batteries up real quick but we've got the rear done kind of I still have to do the second coat for the pink but this is kind of what it looks like I'll remove the blue tape after everything's all said and done uh, but we're gonna go ahead and remove the rear wheels once we finish jacking up the front it's really difficult there's not really a good place to jack it up from we're on the subframe, so that's pretty much the best we can do. And we didn't want to destroy the pinch welds, but we've got everything in place. I'm gonna jack it up from the rear diff once it's settled, and then we can do the front. That's shifting the weight on these jack stands back and it's gonna it's gonna fall off the jack stands. Okay, so what we'll do is just we'll just wrap up the front, do the two layers on the calipers, take it off the jack stands, and then jack it up from the rear diff and do that at the end. So we really should have just started this at the, the beginning. Front's literally just the same as the rear, so I'm just gonna time lapse through everything. Take the caliper off, take the rotor off, replace it, put the new pads on, clean everything, and then we'll go and paint the front. Uh, what we're gonna do is two layers on the front, let all of that dry. Then we're going to take the jack stands away and jack it up from the rear. We tried to jack it up from the rear right now, and it's kind of throwing it off point with jack stand. So just trying to play it safe so nothing happens to the car. Well, 
Well, it's the next day and I'm out here working on it alone this time, but it is nice, dry, it's cured, it looks absolutely amazing. I went ahead and pretty much block sanded that down. I don't have an actual block sander or anything, but I do have a piece of wood in this and it worked okay. It's very sketchy, but it does look really, 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 really good with the silver Nissan logo. So, can't wait to put the wheels back on. I think I'm actually gonna run on these for a little bit, even without the wide body, just because the fitment actually isn't that terrible. So, we might, we might do it. I still need to swap those tires to the front and then put those tires back in the garage somewhere. I don't know. But I'm really excited to actually drive around on these. They look really good and they fit much better than I thought they would. I'm gonna go ahead and continue finishing up all the brakes, putting everything back together, and block sanding all that off. But again, behind the bronze, that looks so good. And the little pink reflection. Okay, that's enough. I'll just finish what, what I'm doing. We're now on day three and I pretty much finished everything. I've been in the brakes. Uh, here's a little clip of me just basically driving around making sure it works great. Uh, the roads were a little bit frozen so I slipped everywhere, but here's that clip. <laughs> I guess it's time for the final update on the car and let me show you exactly what it looks like. Personally, I really, really like it. After bedding in the brakes, everything turned silver, which is exactly what I wanted and it looks so good. The pink looks really good. The silver, the Nissan logo looks really good. I know ESRs are a rep brand and a lot of people are gonna hate it. So this might be the most hated skyline on planet earth right now. Uh, I like it, I'm okay with it. It's just temporary until I can afford proper wheels, but the fitment is horrendous, obviously, and that is for the wide body. Eventually, we'll take care of that. Uh, don't know when, but hopefully sometime soon this year, we'll actually start playing with that. But again, here's the front. Same thing, really good looking pink with the Nissan logo being silver. I love it. I love the look of this. Eventually, I do want to get the SSR version of these because, again, they're reps, so they're not going to be the best quality. But at least I get to test them out, see how they work and go from there but uh let me know what you guys think of the whole look i will be swapping back to my white wheels i just need to clean them up and probably respray them so uh eventually we'll have them back on here because it is rubbing really bad and i don't like that fitment so yeah that's gonna be it for today's video it's freezing right now so i just want to go inside and get warm if you enjoyed today's content leave a thumbs up comment down below on what you want to see next and if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button all right stay awesome guys later